Hi, Michelle. Such a nice day yesterday. I drove home with the windows open. Yep. You know, played with the kids yesterday afternoon. Beautiful day. Had nice some and dinner. Warm. Went to bed. Got up this morning. Went outside to the driveway. The window still <laughs> open in the car, and it was a little chill. A little chill. Yeah. Not only was it cold this morning, cold enough that we saw some frost yes. in the overnight hours. So if you left your windows <laughs> open, you had a cold tush as you sat yeah, down in your seat, seat. Right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, the good news is that March sunshine didn't keep us in the 20s and 30s for long, and in fact already warming us up into the 50s even outside our studios here uh, the temperature is climbing into the mid 50s in spots and uh, not expecting any major changes as we head into the afternoon just another beautiful day yeah five day streak it started on Saturday going right into this Wednesday. So warm and dry from Robert and Fall River at 53, Brad and Cumberland 52, beautiful, he says, and Armand and Kim Pawtucket, 48 degrees and sunny. Live city cam out over Providence coming in blue skies, 51. Winds very light and variable right now, lighter than what we had yesterday. But what I expect to happen this afternoon, we'll see some sea breezes develop, which should keep the coastline just slightly cooler. The humidity, 21%, very, very low. And so with that low humidity, it's going to take a while for the atmosphere to become saturated, for those humidity levels to rise. So I want to show you the radar, and I want to uh, keep that in mind, the very dry air here in southern New England. 44, so notice the cooler air coming in off the water at the Coast Guard House in Narragansett. While it's 53, almost 10 degrees warmer in Johnston, 50 right now in Cumberland, and 48 in Tiverton. Here's satellite and radar. There's a little batch of clouds, even some sprinkles trying to cut across New York and Pennsylvania, but they run into that ultra dry air that we have and they don't go far. So we may see some high clouds come in later on tonight, but that is it. It's going to be not only today, but I mean, and tomorrow, but I'm even looking at Friday now as not really being a soaking rain, maybe some sprinkles and off and on light rain and drizzle, but it may be until the weekend before we really get into any significant rainfall here. And it's because the air is just so dry. So at 2 o'clock this afternoon, plenty of sunshine heading into this evening. If you're like me, I bought some burgers. I said, you know what? I got a grill tonight because things are changing. 11.30 at night, we go into your morning on Thursday and we start to see some clouds rolling at 9 o'clock in the morning. Still some peaks of sunshine, though, so we start out the day Thursday partly sunny. The trend as we go into Thursday afternoon and evening will be for the clouds to thicken and lower, but notice no rain here in southeastern New England, but cloudy skies by tomorrow at 7. This afternoon, another beautiful day, about 50 to 55, low to mid-50s downtown across the metro area, including in Pawtucket, Barrington at about 52, just a beautiful day at Tea of Green, good travel weather, 53, Garden City at 54. I do have a stain in the 40s at the immediate coastline, Block Island near 49, Wickford at 52. Uh, 52 in Coventry, low 50s from our northwest suburbs, spring fever, Foster Center at 52, and those light southerly winds this afternoon. Afternoon will keep the Cape and the islands in the mid to upper 40s, while Fall River, New Bedford should top in the low 50s. It will continue to drop out of the 50s and 40s this evening. Overnight tonight, clear skies initially, then partly cloudy. Dry again on Thursday. Tomorrow's fine if you have errands to run. Staying dry, just increasing clouds at 52. I even think Friday again, cloudy skies and cooler, but possibly just some lighter rain showers and sprinkles. I think the bulk of the rain, the way it's looking right now, will fall Saturday evening evening and night into the first half of the day on Sunday. And during that time, still looking at the potential for several inches of rain along with gusty winds. So we still have the wet weather coming, but it's going to take a while for it to get in.